Hey, what is going on people? This is Hellband, and today I'm going to be releasing my newest version to my Clipboard Master Script. I had released the original version back in January or February. I'll show a quick demo of that right now. So the original version didn't have any hotkeys, and you only had 10 slots that you could save to, and didn't have a lot of other features that I've added in now. So it just allows you to quickly save the contents of your clipboard for later use. So I can save it into a slot and then when I want to, if I want to use that particular clip again later on I can just put it into my clipboard and use it really quickly. So that brings us to the new version. Um, before before I go into uh, everything about the new version, uh, some of you, because this is a video on YouTube, some of you might not be uh, familiar with auto hotkey or auto hotkey scripts, etc, etc. Uh, so what I suggest you do is if you want to get a copy of this um, and you're not sure what to do on my home page you should see this how to auto hotkey section and I have three the first three videos in it one two and three deal with how to get auto hotkey how to create a new script and how to run a script each of them are under a minute long so this one's 36 seconds 46 seconds and 50 seconds so within a, about a minute and a half two minutes you have auto hotkey up and running on your computer and you are good to go so usually what I'll do with these kind of scripts is I'll release it as a, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to a paste bin page where you can get a copy of the script. This one I've opted to actually go to the forum and make a, make a post for it on the forum. So in the description there'll be a link to the forum topic which tells you all the information about it, some basic features about it, etc, etc, where you can get a copy of it. So this is where you get a copy, select all. Oh, it's, it's a big script, so it takes a while. Anyway, select all, copy to my clipboard, put it into a new script, and bam, I'm good to go. All right, so if you have any questions, so this is where you can get your copy of it. If you have any questions about it, you can ask ask in the video, in the comment section, or you can go to the thread here and ask here. This is probably the better place to ask questions about it. Uh, if you encounter any bugs, there shouldn't be any bugs, but you never know. It's the nature of code that, you know, sometimes there's things that just, you can't test for everything on your own. So, anyways, so if you encounter any bugs or if you have any questions about it or how to change things, etc., etc., you can ask on the, the forum thread. So, like I said, the link to this forum thread will be in the description. Uh, so, let's go over the features of it. The old version had 10 slots that you could save to. This one now has... 30 slots on three different pages. There's a whole bunch of hotkeys, etc., etc. I'm not going to go over all the features right now, but what I've done is I've made sure that this is the first time I've actually done this, is I spent a, the time to actually in, put tips in it. So when you hover over control, it'll tell you information about it. So if I hover over that, hover over that, hover over that. When you run the script, don't be shy. Start start click, clicking on buttons there's nothing you can do that's gonna do anything bad like you can just start clicking on things just start clicking on things you're good experiment if I go to the hotkeys and settings page there's 26 different hotkeys I can set I can set to save clips put clips into my clipboard enable hotkeys disable hotkeys save to the clipboard master blah 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 I can, once again, when they, when you come here, enable the tips, and then when you hover over something, it tells you about it, something about it. All right. Um, the only thing that I'll go into is the clip master. So the cl these ones here, these are individual clips. So a every time I, I take put something on my clipboard and save it to one of these slots it automatically creates a file that has that and then I can use that whenever I want. I, every time I reload this program it'll automatically boot those up for me so I can just quickly clip it, paste it, clip it, paste it. What I can also do is I can create a directory or a list. So if I want to, if I'm creating a, a let's say I'm, I'm trying to create a library of functions for auto hotkey, what I can do is I can copy that function from one of my scripts and then I can just come here and put this, append this to a list and then when I want to I can go to that list and see its contents. Its contents, every time I add something new it just adds two line breaks. Two line breaks. So I can easily create lists or directories of 
database of whatever I want. So that's the first one. The first one just adds two line breaks. This, if I save to the second one, instead of saving two line breaks, what it does is it adds the date and time that I added that clip. So every time I add a new clip, it'll give me the date and the time that I added that clip. So useful stuff. And I think that is it. Like I said, if you have any questions about it, uh, just ask, make a topic on the forum or ask in the, down in the uh, comment section below in the video. But I think, I think that's it. Um, there is one thing I recommend when you go to the forum is read over what this stuff does. So there's a couple of things that you can do. So, and you can, this one here, enable a hotkey, change the color of the, of the interface, um, how to use the free buttons that are available. So there's two free buttons that are available. It shows you, tells you everything that you need to know about how to use those to add your own features. But I think that is it. Anyways, peace. I am out. See you on the next one.